morning everyone welcome to computer lab space don't forget to check my previous video which is a phd doctoral committee meeting presentation or a dc meeting one presentation today i will take you all through the comprehensive viva report template so what all the things we need to put in uh, comprehensive viva report so uh, let's start and the first page should include university name so whether it is a VTU university or it is any private university you can put university name along with the address of the university then this logo is a university logo specifically university logo you can put then you need to add this sentence comprehensive viva report of the proposed PhD research work titled your research topic title or your research um, name research topic name so that you can put your with, uh, which is enclosed in between a pair of double quotes then submitted by your name and your USN then your research center name of the institution you can put and under the guidance of your guide name what is the designation of them your guide your guide designation so whether uh, your she is a uh, HOD or uh, principal or professor and their department and institution so you can put it here and the date of submitting your uh, comprehensive viva report so that is date of uh, submission and if you have a college enter you can put it here and throughout the report you need to maintain times new roman as a font style and the page uh, index so top bottom and right it should be one but from the left it should be 1.25 okay mm, then here uh, you can just mention here it has a comprehensive viva report uh, but leave this first sheet uh, first sheet uh, no need to mention the uh, header or footer you can skip it here sorry then in the second page you need to add the table of contents so table of contents should include chapter along with page numbers so from where this particular chapter has been started so that chapter name along with the page number should be included in the table of content so here few uh, chapter name can be skipped and also can be combined together and form a single chapter i will explain in the mid of this video so the first chapter is introduction second chapter literature survey then uh, research gaps and hypothesis materials and methodology here you can add like chapter 1 or simply it as 1 ok 2 then 3 4 5 then 6 7 and uh, chapter 4 references it is not required so just you can just simply make this little bit this side so, to make it proper format so this is how uh, these all the chapters uh, we need to put for the comprehensive viva report and uh, we have research gaps and hypothesis materials and methodology significance of the proposed study work progress till date result and discussion references along with the page numbers on the right side then come to the chapter one so here you can put comprehensive viva report as a header then uh, chapter 1 introduction so introduction you need to explain background of your research now of your research topic for example if you have included your uh, any machine learning or artificial intelligence or neural networks or deep learning so overall if you are uh, working on sentimental analysis or uh, fake news so these things with respect to your research area you need to give the brief introduction of your research topic okay and we need to explain the importance and the highlights here okay so in the introduction part so this is what uh, you need to specify in the introduction if it is one page it is enough it depends on how much of introduction you are going to give on your research topic then the second chapter is literature survey so literature survey means you are going to summarize the existing research which is already there and which is already uh, which is already someone has done their work on this research topic 
so that all together you are going to summarize the existing research which is relevant to your topic what all the key theories they have mentioned in their papers or in their work then what all the methodologies they have included what all the findings they have then any debates with respect to your research topic all these and uh, critically you are going to analyze what all the gaps you have uh, then uh, what all the limitations uh, in the uh, existing uh, research so all these things you are going to explain in the literature survey so how many papers you have referred the each and every paper you are going to mention for example in the first paper or in the paper in this paper you are going to mention the paper title the author and what all they have explained what all methodologies they have explained then what are the limitations so all these things you need to explain in the literature survey and minimum of 15 to 20 papers you need to refer by this time only for the literature survey on your research topic so this is what you are going to explain in the chapter then chapter 3 research gaps and hypothesis so in this chapter we need to clearly articulate the gaps in knowledge that your research uh, is going to address so what is missing or what is insufficiently explored in the existing uh, research work so these things you are going to explain and any present specific hypothesis or um, any specific approach is there so these things you can able to mention in the research gaps and hypothesis then in the chapter 4 materials and methodology so materials and methodology is nothing but um, your research design for example if you have uh, choose any methodology which is appropriate to your uh, uh, research so that you can able to mention here and by this time definitely you will be aware of the data set correct so that for your research what is the data set for your research so that data collection you can able to mention here in the chapter 4 and if you have already started to analyze the data by taking so much of data sets so that you can able to mention in the chapter 4 that is materials and methodology then in the chapter 5 we have significance of the proposed study so significance of the proposed study means uh, you are already started your research on particular topic and here what is uh, what is your contribution what are, uh, then uh, like uh, you are going to explain how your research advances the field and what are the new insights or the perspective does this research work is going to give so what all the practical implica implications we have or real world applications if you are dealing with the real world application uh, research so these things are theoretically or practically or uh, with respect to the knowledge contribution to knowledge so these things you are, you can give insights uh, of your research work here in the chapter 5 that is significance of the proposed study so here i can able to explain we have chapter 3 4 5 like research gap and hypothesis in chapter 3 then materials and methodology in chapter 4 and chapter 5 includes significance of the proposed study if you don't want to uh, make these chapters separately you can combine this together and you can make a chapter 3 as objectives and work carried out so you can uh, instead of separately doing the uh, different different chapter for 3 4 5 you can combine these together these content contents together and you can make it as objectives and work carried out okay so objectives means differently sorry uh, definitely you will be framing the objectives like the research gaps so that you have already identified the gaps and which is already uh, been uh, um, approved by your guide or with the rack members right so those objectives you can put it here and work carried out how much of work you have uh, um, done so far so that those things you can able to mention here in the chapter 3 or simply you can able to mention the objectives work carried out means whether you have done the collection of the data set 
and whether you have started to analyze the data set or partially or uh, like uh, how much of uh, like at least on the data set you, whether you have analyzed the data set 10 percent 20 percent so those things you can be able to mention here in the chapter 3 instead of a different chapter 3 4 5 altogether you can able to mention here um, in the chapter 3 that is objectives and work carried out then uh, chapter 6 it is uh, result and uh, discussion sorry i forgot to say one thing here in the work carried out or uh, work progress till date so for this you can like uh, give um, your uh, uh, research stages uh, how much of work you have done like from the beginning uh, once you have completed your coursework then only you can able to take the cv correct so you can mention here it as i have completed my uh, coursework and what all the subjects you have taken and how it is uh, related to your research topic and uh, whether you have done the data collection and your achievements like whether you have published any paper whether it is a review paper uh, on your literature survey whatever you have done or any significant findings you can able to mention here in the work carried out then that is what as I said, you can mention how much of data, uh, once you received with the data set, how much of data set you have analyzed. So, these things you can able to mention here even in the work carried out specifically. Then result and discussion. Few members will be started with their first objective implementation. So, here you can mention result and discussion based on that. For example, if you have done with your first uh, objective, so, that particular result and um, uh, discussion like improvement, you can able to mention. That should be clearly and concisely you need to mention your result. Then even discussion also, interpret your results uh, with your uh, research questions and the hypothesis. And along with that, you need to compare with the existing research work uh, which has already been done. So, these things you can mention even in the discussion. Then what is the limitation you are coming across? So, those things you can able to mention in the result and discussion. Then uh, references. So, uh, sorry one more thing here. Uh, result and discussion it is uh, done. So, along with that if you want uh, one more chapter that is for example in the index I have mentioned here. Um, work progress till date result and discussion or you can add one more thing the future work or conclusion so you can uh, write the future directions like you are going to implement the next three or four objectives whatever you are having so these things you can mention somewhere in this chapters only like uh, your uh, significance of the proposed study or uh, work carried out so how much of work you have already completed and what is left what is remaining so those things you can mention here in this chapter or you can also make a different chapter also okay then references so references mainly you need to put the uh, citations so list of all the references you need to mention here which is cited throughout your report no, so load, uh, later you can carry it out for the thesis as well and that's uh, citations uh, you need to be uh, represent your in a proper format so that is for the references okay then uh, i need to give uh, like uh, suggestions firstly you need to have the clarity and uh, structure of the report so ensure make sure that you need to clearly organized each section and um, uh, which needs to have a link between the chapters so uh, this is what i suggest and uh, you you can also be, before taking uh, cv you can also think about what all the questions may arise when we look at each chapter and when you when you have when you have mentioned a novel approach or a specific approach or a methodology you can just analyze by yourself and you can think that uh, these are the questions may I may get in a CV uh, presentation. So, uh, presentation also, if you want uh, the CV PPT uh, template, 
you put in a comment section definitely i will make a uh, different a different video on uh, cv um, presentation powerpoint presentation so hope uh, this is helpful and um, thank you for watching if you have any suggestions uh, you can put in a comment section of this video only and if you want any other video uh, which is which is relevant to the phd um, you can mention so that i will definitely try to make video on that uh, thank you all don't forget to subscribe to computer lab space and click on the bell icon for the notifications thank you all